Hello guys, welcome again to our channel. This is Nyongesa Sunday. And uh, in case you are viewing this channel for the first time, you can kindly subscribe and give us a like. Yeah, so today uh, we have a lot of things that are going on in Kenya. We have a lot of protests that are ongoing. And uh, the other day, the president sent our police to Haiti. At the same, same time, they started having uh, protests here in Kenya like Haiti. Now Kenya looks like Haiti in short. So today we're going to talk about why the factors that made William Ruto the president of Kenya. Uh, William Ruto became the president because of the following factors. Number one. He was elected because uh, there are so many people who thought that um, he will help them fight the dynasties. I know many of you can refute this claim, but it is a fact. We were shouting that we need the dynasties to go. So the, one of the reasons why some people walked into the polling station and voted William Ruto was that they believed he would... Uh, do away with the dynasty who people believed were Raila Odinga, uh, the likes of Gideon Moi, Uhuru Kenyatta, because they uh, originated from the founding fathers of this country. Number two, some people, another factor number two was that some people who are too religious, uh, and Ruto knows religion very well, he knows how to use religion, because uh, if you know the history of religion, Religion was used by colonialists and by slave masters to conquer our people and take our land and do all those kind of things. Now they left behind the religion and they are using, they are still using it to control our minds. So Ruto knows when he goes to church and cries, some people will feel sympathy and see this is the man of God. We have to choose him because he's crying. You see, so religion has been a bad thing in Africa and. Uh, one of the factors that William Ruto was elected was because of religion, because he knows how to play and act. He, when he is in a, in, a, in a church or somewhere, he will act until he gets an Oscar. An Oscar is until the people will go and vote for him from those churches, because they believe he is one of them. Number three. William Ruto was elected because uh, the foreign powers, they needed him there. Because, uh, you know, for someone like Raila Odinga, he could not go into bed with the foreign masters like United States. And uh, <clears throat> the foreign masters also believe that if Raila becomes the president, he might lean the Russian side, whereby they will lose a lot, you see. And if they lose Kenya, they will have lost Sudan, they will have lost Congo, they will have lost Central Africa, they have lost Rwanda, all these kind of countries. Because these countries are still being colonized by the West through Kenya. So they believe that uh, the best person to go to be elected so that he can streamline the agendas of the West was William Ruto because they can also control him. The, someone like Baba, you cannot control him because he needs the... Baba is a nationalist and he needed the interest of Kenyans to be for the better future of this country. Another point is Ruto was elected because some people saw him as a hustler. They thought that he's some Kogoteni guy or he was some Mamboga. So some people just went to vote because of that. They believe that he is a Mamboga or a hustler or a hawker. So, or a border border guy. So people saw him that way, and they some just went to the polling station to vote for him. So as you go along, you see these factors that I'm giving you. This guy was not elected to work for the people. He was elected because he's he's crying in church. He was elected because he was. Uh, he, they believe he will discipline Uhuru. He will send Raila to Bondo. He will do all those kind of things. And so if these are the factors that can make us go and vote, what should we expect as a citizens of this country? Because the, if you go to vote, your mind will determine which kind of leader you vote. 
some people went and vote for <coughs> William Ruto because of tribalism. Yeah. Yeah, he was elected in a tribal manner also as well. And that is the tribal nature of this country. You see, but I am happy the Gen Z's are trying to move us from that perspective for now. Another reason why he was elected was that he was dishing out millions in churches. And I see they have already begun that kind of thing. They are now going to churches and giving millions and millions every day. You see, this is not a good culture because um, it is going to erode our society. It is going to make us not have thinking capacity when we go to the ballot. We will not be able to think. We will see this guy donated 10 million for my pastor, so I should go and elect him. So I think uh, that is a very bad behavior. We should also ban all politicians from going to address congregations in churches about politics and in funerals. We should kick them out immediately if they start trying to do that. Or do we go and tell the pastor not to allow them to do so? So, guys, uh, I believe Kenya is going the better way. And um, let us fight for our rights. Let us make sure that Kenya is a, it has a better future for everybody. Thank you and kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video. That one will have helped us. You can also check out our website, nyongesasande.com. We have a lot of stuff for you there. And uh, well, so much more to read now and so much more to watch now. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.